Hi, Mr. Layton here, and we're going to work on our first five notes for trumpet. So let's talk about this fingering chart diagram down here. So you're going to look at this middle section of this chart, and you want to focus on these fingerings down here for trumpet, these finger diagrams. The trumpet has three buttons. And they're numbered the closest to you, one, next one farthest away, two, three. And your fingers are numbered one, two, and three. Actually, in this hand, I don't know why I did that. But um, make sure you're holding your trumpet properly. So you're taking your hand like this, make a Lego hand, and bring it right here. And if you have a ring you right there, you want to put your middle finger through that ring. And you're holding your trumpet primarily in your left hand. Then this hand is coming. And so you're going to put your thumb right here. And then you're going to curl those fingers on top of those valves and then place your pinky on top. You're not going to put your pinky inside. That's only when you um, need to use your slides, but we won't be using those for a while. So you're going to place that on top, and I would curl my fingers because if you play flat, you're not going to be able to play as fast in the future if you develop that. So you want to curl them fingers. Plus, if you're playing like that, what you're going to do is you're going to add pressure to your trumpet valves at a different angle and you might experience your valves getting stuck and that's no fun and then you'll have to go to the repair shop and stuff like that so um, make sure that you're curling your fingers and placing them on top of those valves one finger one two and three one two and three pinky on top of that hook and if you look at your chart right here, note number one, so we have the notes right here, one, two, three, four, five, and this middle section with the blue notes, the blue letters, are your notes, okay? So number, number one, two, three, four, five. And then your fingering diagram is right here. So for your first note, C, you don't press anything down. So you, um, you're going to sit up with good posture. And... I want you to imagine that there's an imaginary string right here coming out the top of your head and pulling you up. So you're sitting up tall, your spine is straight, your shoulders are back, and your chin is up, and you're bringing the instrument to you. You don't want to be hunched over like this or like that. Sit with good posture. Bad, 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 good, good. Back off your chair sitting towards the edge of your chair, the middle of your chair. All right, so now I'm going to play note number one on this chart, which is C for trumpet, and I'm going to hold it out. I want you to listen to it, and then I want you to match my sound, okay? So I'm going to play note number one. Can you match that? If you're too high, then, you're, then your lips are too thin. You need to, to thin out your lip or uh, loosen your lips a little. Drop your draw. Um, if you're too low, <laughs> you just got too much lip in there. And remember, you want to think of the syllable mm, and then just blow air gently through your lips. If you're not getting any sound, <laughs> It's because your lips might not be touching, and you just bring them together slowly, okay? So let's do note number one again. C, so sitting with good posture. Take a breath. Can you match my sound? Note number one again. C for trumpet. go on to note number two. So you're pressing one and three down. So first finger 
and third finger. First valve and third valve. Okay? Just like your diagram in note number two. One and three. And we're going to go a little bit higher to note D. Ready? Uh... Can you match that sound? Note number two, which is D for trumpet. Ready? So with good posture, both feet flat on the ground. Back off your chair. Take a big breath. Uh... And then you're going to play note number three. And the fingering for that is the first and second valve only. So we're going from here, lifting up this finger and switching these two fingers. Note number three, E for trumpet. Here's what it sounds like. Ah. Let's do that again. Ready? Take a big breath. Ah. Now, let me stop this for a second. I hope that you're matching these notes as best as you can. And when you start your notes, can you use your tongue, tip of the tongue to the back of the teeth? You're going to imagine you're saying the word two. Two. So you're going to build up the air pressure behind the tip of your tongue and your teeth. And kind of like when you spit a spit what? Or spitting speed, seeds. All right. And I want you to try to keep that airstream straight straight airstream like a laser beam okay so let's do note number three again e for trumpet take a big breath sit up tall ah. all right and then we're going to go to note number four that's f for trumpet note number four on your chart that, we're lifting up the finger. So we're going from E to F. That's only the first finger down. And we're going to play. Ready? Ah! Let's do that again. Start with your tongue. Are you, What's happening inside your mouth? Are you starting with your tongue? Tip of the tongue, the back of the teeth. Ready? Take a big breath. Ah! And you might need to empty out any spit that you have. Sometimes even after I've been playing for a little bit, I get a lot of moisture that develops in here. It's not really spit. It's called condensation because we're blowing hot air through a cold object. Um, we're going to go on to note number five, which is G for trumpet. And there are no buttons being pressed down. So you're just placing, resting your fingers on top of those buttons, just like note number one. And your fingers are curled. Let's sit up tall with good posture. Take a big breath. And note number five. that sound let me play it for you again so listen and match my sound as best as you can ah! now i'm gonna play each note one two three four five one at a time and i'm gonna go up and down and i'll hold each note for four counts and uh, I would highly encourage that you try to play along with me, okay? And you can always rewind this video and keep practicing it. So I would um, suggest the rule of five. Do it five times. Practice it five times, okay? Let's get started. So you're going to sit up tall with good posture. Take a big breath. One, one two, two no, three, number one. Four. Uh,
I want you to get familiar with what those notes sound like. Make sure you're getting the right note, the right sound. Uh, just do your best, okay? And it's going to take some work, so you have to spend some time on it. The more time you spend, the better you're going to get. The better you get, the more fun you're going to have playing your trumpet. All right? So uh, just uh, so you know, if you're using a tuner, that's what I would suggest to make sure that your notes are accurate and you're getting the right notes. But the tuner is going to read these top notes in red. These are what we call concert notes, concert pitch. Concert B flat, concert C, concert D, concert E flat, and concert F in our red notes. Not one, two, three, four, five. Now, when we look at trumpet notes, note number one, C, note number two, D, number three, E, F, and G, those are in a different family of notes because your your instrument is a transposing instrument. And we'll talk about that in more detail. But what I want you to do is when you're using a tuner, I know this, that when you play note number one, C for trumpet is going to be B flat on your tuner. When you play D for trumpet, C is going to show up on your tuner. When you play note number three, E on trumpet, you're going to see D on your tuner. And if you play note number four, F on for trumpet, it'll be an E flat on your tuner or a D sharp. Um, and then if you play note number five, which is F for trumpet, then it, the tuner will read, I mean, I'm sorry, did I say F for trumpet? I meant G. G for trumpet, the tuner will read F. All right? So I hope this video helps. Please rewind this and play along as many times as you need to. Try to get a beautiful sound. Please start each note with your tongue. And... Um, you'll notice that most of your issues can be solved by using a lot of air. So you have to use a lot of air. And you can imagine that you're blowing out a birthday cake full of candles, and maybe it's uh, also your 100th birthday, okay? So you got to use a lot of air and just keep at it. Don't get frustrated. You're doing great. Remember, you're just starting off. And it's going to take some time. So spend more time on it, and the better you're going to get and the more fun you're going to have. So I'll see you next time, and happy practicing.